What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joking John City 4 here bringing you guys a little bit of a channel update and yes I know it's been a very long time since the last uploaded here. Well, what I want to talk about is the time span of uh, what happened the past three weeks and also why haven't I been uploading. Um, if you guys saw my last video which is titled The End, between that video and now, in total amount of videos that got taken down in the span of three weeks has been 161 videos. 161 videos got taken down from my channel in three weeks out of the 1,300 that I had. One thing that really surprised me the most out of all of this is that most of the videos that got taken down were from Black Ops 2 and Call of Duty Ghost only. My GTA 5 videos, my Far Cry 4 and Far Cry 3 videos never got taken down. My Modern Warfare 3 videos and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare videos were not touched, but the reason why the suspect is now narrowed down to a Call of Duty fanboy is because it was mostly from Call of Duty Ghosts and Black Ops 2. I know, I know, a long time ago, and even now, I still make fun of the Call of Duty community. And I'm pretty sure this one person got offended to one of my videos. You see, I shit on every single part of the Call of Duty community, and let me name you some of them. Quick scopers, drop shotters, campers, boosters, uh, clans... Some YouTubers here and there from Call of Duty. Well, that was a long time ago. Actually, like three years ago when I used to like talk shit to certain YouTubers and they didn't do shit about it. And, uh, well, pretty much of a Call of Duty fanboy if my, my Call of Duty videos are the only ones being taken down. And, um, well, all I got to say about this is that um, that person is a coward. That one person, I don't, know how, I don't know how many people is he sending to attack me, but you're a coward. You'd rather play the technological warfare than show some freaking problems with me. You know how we set things down in Madden, and, I, and I'll say it again. Back in Madden, when I was in Madden, playing Madden 24-7 all the time, back in 2009, 2010, 2011. You know how we settled problems? We made a video about each other. We exposed playbooks. We told them, this playbook sucks, buy our shit. Because it's better than them, because we know we can beat them real easily. And we make a video. We show our faces. Talking shit about this other person. And this person who's false flagging me won't even show his face. Instead, he's a fucking coward. And that's a problem with the Call of Duty community. When they have a beef with someone, when they have a problem, they will never show their faces. Have you ever seen some Call of Duty problems here on YouTube? Maybe in Twitter. Maybe you can see Keemstar make some problems with freaking Optic Nation. But they don't make videos themselves. They don't talk shit to each other. Why? Because they're a bunch of cowards. They're a bunch of babies. They don't want to start beef because, oh, my reputation. Right? Reputation. Your reputation grows when you beat some other YouTuber or some other optic player or whatever, you know? That's how you make your reputation even grow even bigger. So this person who's false flagging me, you know, do a video about me. Call me Mexican. Call me a bean or what the fuck. Whatever you want. Because you know what? It won't affect me at all. My first week here in YouTube, every single week, actually, like for the like for the first four weeks that I was here on YouTube, ten messages every single week. It was just a racist message. A a person telling me to get the hell out of YouTube because I'm Mexican. And I'm like, motherfucker, you know, you got a problem with me? Do something about it. But he never did anything. This was the guy whose name was Panther Killer or something like that. So, yeah, I mean, I already dealt with this shit before, the racism thing. I already dealt with it before. It doesn't even affect me anymore because, you know what? I was born in Texas, USA. That's where I was born. Not some fucking, fucking terrible country like Mexico. The fuck? So, anyways, yeah, I mean, if, if you're watching this hater or, you know, person who's pretty much acting like a coward, do a video about me. You got a problem with me? Do a video about me. Talk shit to me. Tell me how bad my best class setups are. Tell me how bad my gameplays are. I don't mind. I wouldn't mind starting a beef right now with any Call of Duty YouTuber out there. If you're a big Call of Duty YouTuber, I feel bad for you. I seriously feel bad for you. If, you have, if you're jealous about my content, then step the fuck up. Step it up, buddy. All the information about Black Ops 3 that I've been posting lately, it's all in the fucking internet. If you got a problem with the information I'm posting here, tell me in the comment section. I would love to hear it. But instead, you're playing the technological warfare. 
So be it. Be a coward. So anyways, to my subs, to my subscribers, my loyal subscribers that have been following me here for the past five years, or maybe like for the past year and a half or something, because I know uh, most of the new subscribers are still watching. These are my old subscribers who were like before the update of YouTube. You know, all those subscribers are, are gone because they couldn't adjust to Google Plus either. Google Plus fucking suck, man. I don't know why they fucking did that shit. So yeah, like my new subs, my old school subs, I'm telling you this right now, my return is bit, it's pretty much questionable. And um, the only way I can probably return right now is if my if I can secure my YouTube a little bit more. Like, um, I'll try to change up some stuff, maybe prevent my videos to be taken down. Also, so um, that will be the only way I can return. Like, if I am actually being secured here in YouTube, because this asshole who's playing the technological warfare is gonna take me down if I don't fix some things here in YouTube. So um, that's what I will be doing for the next few days. If I'm a little bit secured, then I'll return. It could be like in a month, it could be like in two weeks, it could be in a year, it could be this year, it could be next year, I don't know. It's just very questionable. Will I be playing Black Ops 3? Maybe. And if I do return back, it will be all Black Ops 3. Maybe some videos here and there about some old school videos or something, I'll put on some throwbacks. So, um, yeah, like, I, I really want to return back, but... I just need to do this real, real quick. This first thing, because this person doesn't want to start off a beef. Fucking coward, man. Seriously. I've dealt with cowards before, but this one's a bigger coward than ever. Shit. So, um, so yeah, anyways, that is it. That's all I wanted to talk about. My return is questionable, and um, I do miss uploading a lot here. And um, if you're a new subscriber, well, just look at my old videos, look through my old school videos, and you should be able to see uh, one of the coolest stuff that I ever posted here on my channel, like funny live moments, face-off battles, um, zombie nights. There's a lot of things that I used to do here. There's over a thousand videos, and all those videos are awesome, except for some of them, which I understand were, were pretty much rants. Like, at least, like, around 10% of my videos are rants. The other percentage is, like, gameplays, best class setups, funny moments. Uh, there's, there's a lot of history in this channel I'm telling you since I started this channel back in 2011 the old school the old school crowd man I'm telling you I almost started when the freaking YouTube was in 5 star mode almost which was taken away like in 2008 I believe I almost started in that point because back in 2008 I used to be in the Madden channel Madden All Stars then I switched over to mine back in 2011 so yeah I'm a pretty much of an old school YouTuber here so that's all I want to talk about Hopefully you guys like my gameplay in the background. You'll see more of it if I return back. Um, just be patient, people. Uh, an underdog will always pull a comeback, no matter what situation it's in. See you later, guys.